one of today's two teams takes the last spot in the semifinals on their way to the $1,000 prize. Will it be the Hawks of Marshwood High School? <laughs> or the Rangers from Greeley High School? Find out next on High School Quiz Show Maine. <laughs> Production support for High School Quiz Show Maine is provided by the Helen and George Ladd Charitable Corporation, the Lincoln and Therese Filene Foundation, Plots Associates, Bernstein Schur, and buy. Every day, Maine credit unions give you a new chance to make your money go further so you get ahead faster. Because with a credit union, you own a piece of the pie. Contact your local Maine credit union. It's your moment. Own it. Energy is about more than just keeping the lights on. It's about living life as parents, friends, and teammates. Unitil is proud to support High School Quiz Show Maine. Unitil, more than a utility part of your community. With Harvard Pilgrim Healthcare, you get more than a health plan. You get a partner. With benefits built around local needs, they're helping communities across Maine get healthier and happier. Visit harvardpilgrim.org to learn more. And by viewers like you. Thank you. Welcome to High School Quiz Show Maine. I'm Shannon Moss. There is only one slot left in the semifinals, and each of today's teams hopes to make it in their quest to be the Season 3 champion and compete in the High School Quiz Show Invitational against other state champions throughout New England. Now, in the last quarterfinal match, we have the Rangers from Greeley High School, who defeated the Rams from Bangor High School, and we have the Hawks from Marshwood High School, who defeated the Red Riots from South Portland High School. So let's start by meeting our players. For Greeley, we have George, Maggie, Nicholas, Thomas, with alternates Chris and Edmund. They are coached by Graham Show. And for Marshwood, we have Noble, Gabby, Jake, Jay, with alternates Elena and Nathan, and they are coached by David Leeds. All right, we also have two judges. Angela Absher and Judge Thomas McLaughlin. They are overseeing our proceedings today. Always great to have them here. All right, this competition has four rounds. The toss-up, the head-to-head, -head, the category round, and the lightning round. And we're going to start with the toss-up round. All answers are worth 10 points. And remember, this is the only round with no point deductions for wrong answers. Players, you must wait for me to finish the question. And if one team answers incorrectly, the other team will get a chance to answer. All right, players, are you ready? Here we go. Residents of what U.S. state call themselves Hoosiers? Maggie. Indiana. That's correct. Before the use of insulin as a treatment, the type 1 form of what disease was usually fatal? Maggie. Diabetes. That's the answer. According to legend, kissing what famous Irish stone endows the kisser with the gift of eloquence? Jay. Blarney Stone. That's correct. In the title of a Dr. Seuss book, what is served with green eggs? George. Ham. Ham's the answer. In 1969, what British band released its first rock opera, Tommy, a double album about a deaf, dumb, and blind boy? Tom, uh, actually it was Nicholas. Aerosmith. That's incorrect. Marshwood? Jake. The Who? The Who is the answer. Bengal is a historical region located in India and what country to the east? Uh, George. Bangladesh. Bangladesh is the answer. Formerly known as Fulton's Folly, what ship was launched on the Hudson River in 1807 as the first successful steamboat venture? It's the Claremont is the answer there. Okay, what Sanskrit word refers to an electronic image that represents a particular person in computer games or internet forums? J. Avatar. That's the answer. At least 1.7 million people, nearly a quarter of Cambodia's population, were killed under what radical communist regime that ruled Cambodia from 1975 to 1979? Thomas. Khmer Rouge. 
That's correct. And we have a video question if you want to take a look at your monitor. Hello, I'm Congresswoman Shelley Pingree. Created in 1908 by then Attorney General Charles Bonaparte, which federal agency serves as the primary investigative arm of the U.S. Department of Justice? George. The FBI. That's the answer. In Norse mythology, what hammer-wielding son of Odin is the god of thunder? George. Thor. Thor is correct. Known for his watercolors, many of what artist's famous seascapes were set at his home in Prout's Neck, Maine? It's Winslow Homer. I've got a math question for you. What is the mean value of the numbers 6, 11, and 7? Thomas. 8. 8 is the answer. What Midwestern U.S. city is named after a Roman general who saved the city of Rome from destruction and then quietly retired to his farm? Jay. Cincinnati. Cincinnati is the answer. Which of the following metallic elements can be liquid at or near room temperature? Gallium, manganese, or barium? Thomas. Gallium. That's correct. In 1927, sculptor Gutzon Borglum was commissioned to build what South Dakota monument? George. Mount Rushmore. That's correct. What eye disease is caused by an increase in pressure within the eye? Thomas. Pink eye. That is incorrect. Marshwood, you want to give it a shot? Jay. Cataracts. It's glaucoma. That's the answer. Nicosia is the capital city of what Mediterranean island located south of Turkey? George. Cyprus. Cyprus is the answer. In 2018, Justify won the Kentucky Derby, Preakness Stakes, and what third race to capture thoroughbred racing's triple crown? The Belmont Maggie. Stakes. It is the Belmont Stakes. Okay, up next we have a picture question if you want to take a look at your monitor. In 1903, Orville Wright famously piloted the first powered airplane 20 feet above a windswept beach in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, lasting 12 seconds and covering 120 feet. Where did the Wright brothers first begin their experimentation in manned flight? Thomas. North Carolina. That is incorrect. Marshwood? Gabby. South Carolina. And that was Dayton, Ohio, actually in their bicycle shop is where they started their experimentation. Okay, the nursery rhyme, The Muffin Man, mentions what street that's home to London's oldest theater? Jay. Dreary Lane. That's correct. What historical region of central Romania literally means through the woods? Thomas. Transylvania. Correct. What New Orleans novelist wrote Interview with the Vampire? And rice is the answer. We have a math question for you. A box contains eight red pens, seven blue pens, and six green pens. In lowest terms, what is the probability of randomly selecting a pen that is neither red nor green? Nicholas. Six and 21. That's incorrect. Marshwood? J. One third. That's correct. Famous for their distinctive clicking sounds, the Khoisan languages are native to what continent? Nicholas. Africa. Africa is the right answer. In the late 19th century, English physicist Sir J.J. Thompson discovered what negatively charged subatomic particle? Maggie. Um, the electron. That's the right answer. What Massachusetts island is the home of Captain Ahab in the novel Moby Dick? Martha's, uh, Jake. Martha's Vineyard. That is incorrect. Greeley? George. Nantucket. Nantucket is the answer. In 1997, a simple rover named Sojourner became the first of several NASA rovers sent to explore what planet? Nicholas. Mars. Mars is the right answer there. The legendary conflict between when King Priam's son Paris kidnapped Helen, the Queen of Sparta. Gabby. Trojan War. That's the answer. Abbreviated M-A-R, what ocean ridge is a long undersea mountain chain extending from the Arctic Ocean to near the southern tip of Africa? J. Marianas Trench. That is incorrect. Greeley? Thomas. Mid Atlantic Rift. That's the answer. The first mammal to be cloned using an adult somatic cell was a female sheep named what? George. Tully. Tully is the right answer. During the 18th and the 19th centuries, Tammany Hall was the powerful executive committee of the Democratic Party in what U.S. city? George. Boston. That is incorrect. Marshwood? Gabby. New York City. New York is the answer. The title of John Green's novel, The Fault in Our Stars, is inspired by the quote, The fault, dear Brutus, is not in our stars, but in ourselves. This is from what Shakespeare play? 
Jake. Julius Caesar. That's correct. What is the deepest canyon in the United States? Noble. The Grand Canyon. That is incorrect. Greeley? Hell's Canyon is the answer, and that is the buzzer. So that is the end of round one. Let's take a look at our scores. Greeley has 190 points. Marshwood has 90. We're going to chat with our players. We're going to get to know them a little bit when we come back. Trees are down. The power is down. But you're not powerless. The mobile app from Safety Insurance can help you file a claim. You can ask an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage life storms. And before we ask our interview question, we do have a slight correction that we need to make. In the question abbreviated MAR, what ocean ridge is a long undersea mountain chain extending from the Arctic Ocean to near the southern tip of Africa? Uh, Thomas from Greeley answered the Mid-Atlantic Rift. Judges have confirmed it's the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. So we are going to have to deduct 10 points from Greeley. So the score right now would be 180 to 90. So now let's get to that interview question. And Greeley, we'll start with you. Oh, uh, George, what event in history do you wish you had been able to witness and why? Um, if I could, I'd like to go back and see the first moon landing in 1969. I think it's the most really incredible thing that humanity has done. And I hope I get to see another giant leap like that in my lifetime. That would be amazing. We all do. Maggie? Um, I'd probably want to witness and participate in some sort of activist activity during the era of second wave feminism. Fantastic. I'm sure there'll be other opportunities. Nicholas? I'd really like to go back to the first Continental Congress and be able to meet all the founding fathers, like George Washington in particular, because it's such an important moment in history. It sure is. Thomas? Uh, I'd like to go back to the 1980 Olympics and watch the Miracle on Ice, because oh. it was a pretty sick win. Oh, wasn't it? Oh, God, I was 10. I know you weren't even, <laughs> but it was amazing to watch. Oh, my gosh. And the movie, right? It's good. It's so good. Okay, sorry. Noble. Uh, I'd also like to go back to the 1960 civil rights movement because I feel like it was such a pivotal time in American history. And I'd like to see the march at Washington and be able to see Martin Luther King's speech in person. Powerful stuff. Absolutely. Gabby? I would like to see the painting of the Sistine Chapel because I'm a really big fan of Renaissance art. It'd be amazing. Of course, you'd have to look up like this, though. But that's all right. It's good stuff, right? All right, Jake? Uh, I'd like to see the start of the American Revolution because it's the birth of our country. It sure is. Fantastic. And Jay? I'd like to go back to ancient Egypt and watch the building of the Great Pyramids because it's fascinating how they built it without modern machines. Right? I always think about that. How was that done? Oh my gosh. These are all such great answers. I loved every one of them. Good to, great to get to know you a little bit more. All right. We are going to be going head to head coming up next after you see the Maine's Credit Union's Question of the Week. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jen Burke, and this is Maine's Credit Union's Question of the Week. Which two historical women have been depicted on U.S. dollar coins? Your choices are Sacagawea, Harriet Tubman, Susan B. Anthony, and Betsy Ross. Pick two, and we'll be back with the answer later in the show. All right, we are about to go head to head. I've got Marshwood to my left, Greeley to my right. Gentlemen, want to shake hands before we yeah. get started. Good luck, good luck. All right, in this round, you get 10 points for correct answers. Incorrect answers, though, will cost you 10. Now, remember, you don't have to wait for me to finish the question. You can buzz in at any time. So let's set that clock, and here we go. By definition, what kind of animals eat both plants and other animals? Yes, Marshwood. Omnivores. That's the right answer. What Midwestern state is the most northerly of the contiguous United States? That was just in time, Marshwood. Montana. It's Minnesota. Who was the first Roman Catholic president of the United States? Yes, Marshwood. JFK. That's correct. In Greek drama, what group of performers comment on the action as a collective voice? Ah. The chorus. What decisive battle established the Normans as the rulers of England in 1066? Yes, Greeley. Hastings. That's correct. What African nation is home to the cities of Tangier and Casablanca? Uh, Morocco. It's Morocco, yes. What William Gibson play is based on the life of Helen Keller and her determined teacher, Annie Sullivan? Uh, the Miracle Worker. What machine was introduced to France during the French Revolution as a form of execution? Yes, Marshall. Guillotine. Correct. By tradition, what country goes first in the Parade of Nations at Olympic opening ceremonies? Greece, name the largest planet in the solar system. Yes, Marshall. Jupiter. Correct. Most of the main characters on the TV show The Big Bang Theory work at what university? Uh, 
Yeah. Not fans of the show. Caltech. What British naval intelligence officer created the fictional spy James Bond? 007. Uh, Ian Fleming is the answer. By using the Suez Canal, ships avoid having to sail around what continent? South, South America. It's Africa. What U.S. president designed the landscape and gardens at his home at Mount Vernon? I'm sorry, that was not in time. And that is the buzzer. Greeley with 200 points. Marshall with 110 points. We got a game. It's going to be great. Category round is coming up next. Next up is the category round with the following choices. Get Carter, Here Comes the Sun, Project Runway, Arabian Nights, The Butler Did It, and This Old Spouse. All right, each category has five questions with increasing point values. Now, players, you must wait for me to finish the question before you can buzz in. Remember, you can confer with your teammates, but once you buzz in, I am going to need your answer at that point. And like in the toss-up round, if one team answers incorrectly, then the other team will get a chance to answer. Okay, Marshwood, you're behind a little bit, so you get to start. Where would you like to go? Uh, can we start with this old spouse? Yes, we can. This category, questions about famous married couples. So this is for 10 points. In 1903, what married couple received the Nobel Prize in Physics for their work on radiation? George. The Curies. Yep, that works. <laughs> that does work. All right. We don't need the first names. Greeley, you get to choose again. Where would you like to go? Um, let's do Project Runway. Oh, Project Runway for 10 points. These are questions about fashion. What flat round cornered collar is named after J.M. Barry's most famous literary creation. J. Peter Pan collar. That is correct. Marshwood, where would you like to go? We'll take this old spouse. This old spouse for 15. What couple starred in and produced one of the most popular and technically innovative shows of all time, I Love Lucy? <laughs> Lucy and Desi. Lucille Ball. All right. Greeley, where would you like to go? We're going to do Arabian Nights. We're doing Arabian Nights. This is questions about the Middle East. Known in Arabic as Halab, Aleppo is the largest city in what country? Noble. Syria. That is correct. Marshwood, you have the board control. Where would you like to go? Arabian Nights. Arabian Nights. This is for 15 points. Occupying an area of 23,500 square miles, what triangular peninsula in Egypt serves as a land bridge between Africa and Asia? Thomas. Sinai. That is correct. And Greeley, it's back to you. Where would you like to go? Keep going with Arabian Nights. We're going to keep going with Arabian Nights. Name the only Middle Eastern country that is a member of NATO. Noble. Israel. That is incorrect. Greeley? George. Turkey. Turkey's the answer. Greeley, where would you like to go? Uh, let's keep going. Arabian Nights. All right. Arabian Nights for 25. The Prophet Muhammad was buried in what Saudi city that's the second holiest city in Islam after Mecca? Noble. Medina. That is correct. Marshwood, you're up. Where are we going? Arabian Nights. Arabian Nights for 30 points. In 2003, what country formally admitted it was responsible for the bombing of an airplane over Lockerbie, Scotland in 1988? Uh, the answer is Libya. And Marshwood, you still have control of the board. What do you think? Uh, can we go to this old spouse? This old spouse for 20 points. In April 1945 in Berlin, who married Adolf Hitler? George. Eva Braun. That's correct. And Greeley, you have control of the board. Um, this old spouse, please. Okay, this old spouse for 25 points. At the age of 18 in 1582, who married 26-year-old Anne Hathaway? Gabby. William Shakespeare. That is correct. Marshwood, I'm at a tennis match here. Back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> Marshwood, where are we going? This old spouse. All right, we're going to wrap up this category for 30 points. This old spouse, England's Henry VIII, ended his first marriage and broke with the Roman Catholic Church because he wanted to marry whom? Gabby. Anne Boleyn. That's correct. All right, Marshwood, what category are we going to? Project Runway. Runway. Project Runway. And this is for 15 points. What style of cropped pants is named after an Italian island in the Tyrrhenium Sea? Gabby. Capri. Capri is the answer. What would you like next? Project Runway. Project Runway for 20 points. Named after a French acrobat who invented the Flying Trapeze Act, what tight one-piece garment is often worn by dancers and gymnasts? Jay. Leotard. That's correct. What would you like next? 
Project, on, Project Runway. All right, we're going to continue on with Project Runway. This is for 25 points. During the American bicycle craze of the 1890s, many women wore what loose Turkish-style pants named after a champion of women's rights? Jay. Bloomers. That's correct. Should we be finishing up the category? You want to go somewhere else? We'll finish it. Okay, Project Runway for 30 points. What diamond-shaped pattern popular for socks and sweaters is named for a former county in Scotland? Jay. Argyle. That is correct. All right, what category is next? We'll take the butler did it. The butler did it for 10 points. Questions about fictional butlers. Lane and Merriman are butlers in what classic comedy of manners by Oscar Wilde? The importance of being earnest. Okay, Marshwood. Let's take Here Comes the Sun. Here Comes the Sun. These are questions about the sun, and this is for 10 points. The sun was once thought to be perfect and unchanging. This view changed forever, though, when sunspots were discovered in the 1600s by what Italian astronomer? Nicholas. Galileo. That's correct. Greeley. Where would you like to go? Let's go sun again. We're doing it. Here comes the sun for 15 points. Scientists predict that in about 5 billion years, the sun will begin to die because the gas in its core will run out of what element? Nicholas. Hydrogen. That's correct. What do you think? Same. Yep. Here that's comes what the I thought. sun. Here comes the sun for 20 points. The sun primarily makes energy by fusing hydrogen into what gas? Nicholas. Helium. Helium is the answer. For 25? Yes. We're going to do it. Here comes the sun. Consisting of hot ionized gas, what outermost region of the sun's atmosphere is derived from the Latin word for crown? Gabby. The corona. Corona is the right answer. And Marshwood, you have control of the board. Here Would comes like? the sun, please. All right, we're going to wrap up this category. Here comes the sun. This is for 30 points. In the early 1600s, what German astronomer stated that all planets move about the sun in elliptical orbits? Jake. Pernicus. That is incorrect. Greeley. George. Kepler. That is correct. All right, Greeley, where are we going? Uh, let's do Get Carter, 10. Get Carter. This is for 10 points. And these are questions about President Jimmy Carter. Jimmy Carter was elected president in what year that America celebrated its bicentennial? Noble. 1976. That is correct. Where would you like to go next, Marshwood? Get Carter. All right, Get Carter, 15 points. When his father died in 1953, Carter gave up being an officer on a U.S. nuclear sub and returned to what southern state to become a peanut farmer? Jay. Georgia. That is correct. What would you like next, Marshwood? Get Carter. Get Carter, 20 points. Carter asked Americans to cut down on their energy use. He led by example, curtailing the use of limousines, selling the presidential yacht, and installing what on the White House roof? George. Solar panels. That is correct. And Greeley, you're next. Uh, get Carter, talk? 25. All right, get Carter for 25 points. Carter was the first president to face the challenge of militant Islam. On November 4th, 1979, an angry mob of Islamic revolutionaries took 66 Americans hostage in what city? Tehran is the answer, and, Greeley, and that's the buzzer. So that ends the category round. Let's take a look at our scores. Greeley with 360 points. Marshwood has 300. We all know what category is next. It's the lightning round, and anything can happen in that final round. So we'll get to that right after the answer to the Maine's Credit Union's Question of the Week. Let's see how you did with Maine's Credit Union's Question of the Week. Which two historical women have been depicted on U.S. dollar coins? Your choices are Sacagawea, Harriet Tubman, Susan B. Anthony, and Betsy Ross. The answers are Sacagawea and Susan B. Anthony. While the mythical Lady Liberty has appeared on many U.S. coins, Sacagawea and Susan B. Anthony are the only two real women who have been on U.S. coins. Okay, we are heading into the final 90 seconds of gameplay, the lightning round. Now, players, you can buzz in at any time. Remember, you get 20 points for correct answers, but incorrect answers will cost you 20 points. So let's set that clock and let's go. What is Canada's westernmost province? Thomas. British Columbia. That is correct. Il Duce was the nickname for what Italian dictator, Thomas? Mussolini. That's the right answer. Name the only mammal that is capable of true flight. 
George. Bat. Bat is the right answer. Daisy and Tom Buchanan are characters in what 1925 novel? Gabby. The Great Gatsby. That's the right answer. What city is the birthplace of the Prophet Muhammad, the founder of Islam? Noble. Makkah. That's correct. What type of energy is also known as stored energy? Maggie. Potential energy. That's the right answer. Who was the first U.S. president to appoint a woman to the Supreme Court? Thomas. Reagan. That's right. What national Spanish newspaper has a title that means the world? Gabby. El Mundo. That's the right answer. What invading Germanic tribe sacked Rome in 455 AD? Gabby. The Vandals. That's the right answer. What is the first name of the female protagonist in the 1991 Disney film Beauty and the Beast? Maggie. Belle. That is the right answer. The Northern Cross constellation also goes by what name that means swan in Latin? Cygnus is the answer. In surface area, which is the smallest of the five great lakes of North America? Nicholas. Lake Erie. That is incorrect. It's Lake Ontario. What is the feminine form of the word aviator? Gabby. Well, it's aviatrix. So I'm sorry that was incorrect. That is the buzzer. And our winning team is Greeley with a final score of 460. They will be moving on to the semifinals. Our runners up, Marshwood with 360 points. Great game, you guys. Hope to see you back next year. Thanks so much for playing both of our teams. All right, next week, join us for the first semifinal match. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. This is High School Quiz Show, Maine. <laughs>